right, go ahead. Am I teaching you how to can pears? Yes, are you my helper tonight? Yes. Yes, <laughs> all right. Okay, so in this pot we have 25 cups of water, okay? You did, okay, and so to this we added 16 cups of no, sugar. Nope, 13. Yeah. 13 cups. 13. So 26 half cups is what we yeah. used a half cup. Ah. So we have 13 cups of sugar that's in between a light and a medium syrup, which is what we're gonna make. Then over in this pot that I have heating up, this is just plain water. I can pears and my apples a little bit differently um, <laughs> through trial and tribulation. So I, I know a lot of people boil their pears in the simple syrup. I don't really like doing that because if, <laughs> if you don't know me by now, I'm kind of a perfectionist, maybe a little bit, or at least I try to be. And I like the way things look when they're really pretty. And so I don't like the look of pears boiled in the simple syrup. I think it just looks a little cloudy to me. So what I do is I boil the pears in, in water over here and then we will add the simple syrup to it. Now to this, I'm gonna add a cinnamon stick. So I'm gonna go get a cinnamon, cinnamon stick and you're gonna throw it in, okay? Okay. All right, hold on. All right, so here are my cinnamon sticks. So go ahead and pick one and toss it in there. There you go. Ah. <laughs> Did that splash you? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, you're new to the kitchen. That's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a lesson learned, honey. <laughs> now we're gonna turn this on the heat because it's not on the heat because you're standing up on the stool so mama doesn't like heat near you. So you're gonna step down off the stool now. Thank you for your assistance. <laughs> and we are going to bring this up to a light boil and then we're gonna turn it off, okay? This I'm going to bring up to a boil and then we're gonna add our pears in it and simmer them for five minutes. And then this will be ready to go in our jars. Over here I have, there's all my pears. Pear. They're, they're in ice cold water with ice. lemon juice. And then in here we have seven quart jars, wide mouth. Let me get the rest of this set up and we'll get to here. Welcome to our canning kitchen. What are we canning today, Mason? Pears. Pears in a simple syrup. I was gonna can them and make them into a pear pie filling, but you know, the more I thought of it, the more I realized that just canning them in a simple syrup will be more useful. I can do more things with them. And so we're gonna do a simple syrup a little bit of cinnamon just a little bit just a hint and uh, <laughs> I wasn't gonna film this but so many of you wanted to see it um, today I am uh, I have an assistant who wants to learn how to can so my um, my attention is focused mainly on I'm him <laughs> you are my helper so um, uh, but I will try to film little bits of this so that you guys kind of have the idea for those of you who have never canned pears, uh, pears before and for those of you who have just the season, right? <laughs> pears are pears are bountiful right now, so I'm gonna grab my hands on as many as I can. And here in the kitchen, uh, we are canning up a half bushel of them tonight. So, you ready to do, do this with me? All right, let's go. As our water here starts coming to a boil, we're gonna go ahead and add the pears in here. We're gonna boil them for five minutes, okay? And then, uh, because we're using the hot pack method, um, and then this is just about at a ready? simmer as well. So this will be ready to go. Our canning jar jars are boiling and um, being sterilized right now. And so it is an art <laughs> of timing. <laughs> so <laughs> this will get you used to you know timing when you're cooking Thanksgiving dinner and everything has to be ready at the same time. So we're gonna let this come to a boil. When it comes to a boil, I'm gonna throw our um, pears in and um, we're gonna boil them for five minutes and then they'll be ready to pack in the jars. Right, so we're gonna do our first jar together. Take it out. Uh, Pour all the water out. Okay. You wanna be very careful. Okay. Okay, here we go. So go ahead and put that right on top of there, right there like that. Here we go. And then mommy's gonna grab some of these pears out of here. Ooh. I can't wait to eat them tomorrow. It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna be good, right? Yeah, especially with the sugar. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do is we are going to put the pears in the jar. Okay, go ahead. 
There you go. I can't believe the hole's big enough for all the stairs. <laughs> How old are you, Mason? Eight. You just turned eight, didn't you? <laughs> you gonna be a canning king when you grow up? Yeah. Yeah. I want to can like you. <laughs> Get all these pears in here. Oh, this one's being stubborn. <laughs> Me and being frustrated. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Okay, I'm just going to pack these down. We're going to fill this up to one inch head space. Okay. With the pears. And then we're going to fill it up to a half inch head space with the liquid. Okay. Make sure all of this gets filled in there. Okay, excellent job. You're doing great. Oh, yeah, I told you I had to do Oh, we might actually run out of room. That's okay. I tried just getting enough pears out just for one jar. Let's see if we can fit them all in. It'd be awesome if we could. Okay. No, we still have enough for a bunch of jars. Well, if we can get seven quarts out of a half bushel, Mommy will be very happy. All right, now hold on. That might be all we can fit in here. Let's so, try one more. Um, you are very excited, I see. All right, go ahead. Okay, that'll be it. Yeah, that's all uh, we can fit in it. Yep, so we want one inch head space. Okay. All right, and now Mommy's going to do this part, so I'm going to have you step down and step back so you don't get hurt. Ladle. The liquid. The liquid. Okay. The syrup? That's the syrup. That's the simple syrup. Oh, I think that should be enough. <laughs> We're going to do it to a half inch head space, which is going to be right on that line right there. there. Do you see it right here? Yes, I can. Okay. See. So then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and debubble. You see all those bubbles coming through. Okay. okay, we're gonna make sure you get the center, get all the way around the edges. And then we're gonna fit these back inside. Make sure it's all under. If you have any that stick out, like we do, I'm just gonna pop some of these out. I don't like it quite like that. All right. All right, then we're going to top this off, okay? Yeah, just top a little it off bit. With what? A little bit more syrup. Let's see if we can fit it in there. Just the enough. Head space. Just enough. I don't like anything sticking up, so. I might take one more pair out of here. Mm. That is a lot of pairs for one jar. <laughs> All right. That's Looks good. like 10 pairs. We've got mm, just a little bit of floating. That's all right. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and wipe the rim of this jar with vinegar. Okay. Why do you need vinegar? That cleans it. Make sure there's no pieces or anything sticky that can make it so that our... Is that supposed to be a magnet? That is a magnet. Oh, it is. <laughs> I didn't know that. All right, fingertip tight. And... I was like wondering, why is the thing sticking <laughs> to the metal? And there's our jar. So I've got a little bit of floating on the bottom. Uh, it's not too bad though. I ain't going to be mad at it. So we're going to go ahead and put that right in the canner. We're going to do a second jar here. But do you see how nice and clear the liquid is? I don't know. I just, when I boil my um, pears in the simple syrup, I don't know. It's just a little too cloudy for my liking. So, all right, let me grab some more pears here. So together, let's can one more jar, okay? So go ahead. Get this uh oh, in. pears are already stuck. All right. Good job. Try to get them down in there, okay? 
Excellent. It's great. <laughs> Good job, Mason. Head space, go ahead. Yeah, that Oops. might be it though. Oops. My hands hurt. You like an excited canner, huh? Yeah, this is the first time doing this. <laughs> All right, step back because I don't want you to get hurt. All right, we're gonna do the hot simple syrup. Simple syrup. Why do they call it simple? Now, I made extra simple syrup because I have some other canning jobs that I want to do this week. So if I have any left over, it's just going to go. I have lots of canning jars still. <laughs> yes, it's going to go right in my fridge. And lots of pears. For um, some upcoming projects. So, all right. So we're going to debubble this all the way around. At least of my first experience doing canning is pears. <laughs> pears? Do you love pears? Yes. All right, here we go. How do you get it off the edge? I don't get it. Mm, that's okay. I'll teach you that trick when you get older. All right. I want the half inch head space here. We're going to go right to this line right here, okay? Okay. Right See, okay. Simple syrup. And then we're going to take this off. We are going to wipe the rim with vinegar. Oh, now I get it. You do this. And then we are going to get a lid and a ring okay and let's show how pretty this jar is oh, of our pears all right we're gonna keep going here and uh, we will bring it back when we have everything in the canner and Mason and I are just going to enjoy some quiet time this Sunday evening canning together, right, Mason? Yes. All right, let mommy. First time. <laughs> All right, let mommy get some more pears. One lesson you always want to remember, Mason: hot food, hot jars, hot canner. Okay. So the pears are hot. This jar is very hot. This canner that's going in is very hot. Okay. Hot. 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 Okay, helps with thermal shock, so, which means if you had a cold jar with hot food and a hot canner, you could break your jar. Okay? So you want a hot jar, you hot food, and a hot canner. Yes, sir. That's it. Okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, so there are our seven jars, our quarts of pears in simple syrup. We're at the next line. Now what we're going to do, Mason, is go ahead and grab that lid. Right there. Yeah. And then go ahead and put it right on top of here. You got it. Good job. And now we're going to turn this up. We've had it at high, and now we're going to turn it to canning. And once this starts bubbling and boiling, we're going to process these for, let me double check, but I think it's 25 minutes. Okay. Now, as a canner, you always want to make sure you double check every time, even if you've 25 it minutes a million right times. Yes, but that's for berries. Mm. So you want to look under apricots because apricots is the same as pears. So here's pears. Okay, pears. So we are going to processing times are for apricots, page 128. So we go back to 128, which is right here for apricots. Okay. And then we look for quarts, because we're not doing pints, we're doing quarts. We hot pack them. Okay. 25 minutes. And we are zero to 1,000 feet. So how many, how, many time, how many minutes do we have to process them? 25. 25. So always double check, no matter how many times you've checked, okay? Always double check yourself, because sometimes you can be mistaken just by a few minutes, okay? All right, so 25 minutes once these come to a boil, 
a full boil, which is why I love the, um, the ball water bath canner because you can see it when it comes to a full boil. So once this starts bubbling um, and uh, it's a hard boil, we will start our timer for 25 minutes. Uh, when 25 minutes is up, I turn it off the heat, so I will turn this off, and then I will take off the lid, and I'll let them sit in the canner for five minutes, and then I will pull them out. And when we get to that part, I will bring you back. Now, we do have a few pairs left, okay? So we have a couple in here, and we have a couple floaties in here. So not many, so um, we'll probably just eat those. Do you want a snack on some? <laughs> in fact, if I have enough, maybe I'll, I'll make like a little a little dessert over vanilla ice cream with them and some caramel. That sounds good, right? I'll make that sweet treat for the kids. Okay, Mason, you ready to see your good work? Yes. Alright, see what it looks like. Alright. This one was our first one, so it's a little floaty, but that's okay. Because when it cools down, it'll settle down. It won't be floaty when it cools down. Oh my gosh, it's so steamy that it the steam is going up all the way to the lights. <laughs> okay, there's number two. The steam follows the lights. Number three. Yes. So Mom, our... Mommy always likes to make the ball <laughs> go forward. The word ball. We can play tic-tac-toe with these things. <laughs> all right. straight out of the canner. It's okay if there's some water on the top of the lids like that. I don't know if you can even see that in the camera, but water on top of the lids is fine. It will evaporate. So this is a hard, seven. This are all hard work. Yeah, it's a lot of work, right? Yeah. Mommy was cutting pears for hours, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, all of it all that hard work came up to this. Yep. What do you think? Good? Yes, all of our hard work went up <laughs> to this. Seven jars of pears. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Can you say hi? My little sister. Do you want to learn how to can too? With your little ice cream face? Oh. <laughs> all right guys, that is it. That is how you can pears in simple syrup right was that fun yeah do you want to do apples yeah. <laughs> apple. I want to apple. you do okay well we have to wait till apples come in um come in uh in a half in a half bushel or a bushel and once once mommy can get them in a big amount we will do apples okay okay all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed hanging out with mason and Hi tonight. <laughs> Round of applause. And uh, I hope this inspires you to, you know, can some pears. And, you know, Mason is a newbie canner. Anybody can be a newbie canner, right, Mason? You can do it. Anybody can do it, right? That's what I always say. If I can do it, anybody can do it. All right, guys. I will be seeing you soon. All right. Bye. Bye.